today I want to talk about Vlogtober. Vlogtober is an October and fall themed posting challenge. Since my whole lifestyle is basically October, I collect bones and dead things. I love and care for creepy crawlies. whole life is basically October incarnate so I felt especially my first year on YouTube it was really important for me to do vlogtober. I was kind of on the fence at first. One of my friends that is also a YouTuber put together a vlogtober group. The few days before I got invited to this group I was actually kind of really thinking hard and debating whether or not I wanted to commit to vlogtober. And then I got this invite and I really thought about it hard and I batch film anyways, it's gonna take a lot of work, but I am trying to commit to a Vlogtober. My goal is ultimately to post every single day throughout October. Uh, at the very least, I am hoping to post five days a week. So that is 20 videos through October. I have a lot of ideas, truthfully, about 10 or 15 of the video ideas I already had planned. I can alter just a little bit to work for Vlogtober. I have goth fashion coming for you, very theatrical makeup looks. If you like my new like black and gray and bluish hairstyle, that will also be in Vlogtober. I am going to take you to a farmer's market and I'm going to show you some of my favorite fall recipes that because of the pumpkin and squash involved it is actually hard to make at other times of the year. So I have a very full October schedule planned. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my absolute favorite pieces. This is a wild boar skull ethically harvested and the teeth Seriously, I don't know if it actually had teeth in it, but I'm pretty sure the teeth were drilled yeah. out and replaced with crystals. Except for the tusks, which I think is so cool. Which I believe the crystal is actually titanium coated, and that's why we're seeing that really pretty rainbow finish on that. This was created by Poking Dead Things. I actually had one other Poking Dead Things video already posted. This was one of our very, very first pieces. Poking Dead Things makes a lot of different bone art. They make, or she, I should say. Poking Dead Things makes a lot of different styles of art out of bone all ethically harvested. Despite the name being Poking Dead Things, uh, there is actually a lot of art made out of various flora and fauna that is not necessarily dead things, but all of it is natural. Um, it is made out of organic material for the most part. She's not making plastic garbage. It is all a way to appreciate nature and honor it after it has already passed on, which I think is one of the absolute coolest things, and that's why I have such a huge collection. And during Vlogtober, you'll see my entire Poking Dead Things collection. Houseware and decoration, my jewelry. You will see my entire Poking Dead Things collection, and also you will see some of my oddities that I have collected elsewhere. You'll see some things I've collected from Woolly Mammoth in Chicago. If you are in Michigan, definitely check out Poking Dead Things and Twisted Things. Twisted Things is an artist collective that is run by the owner of Poking Dead Things. If you are in Chicago, Woolly Mammoth is a place to go for oddities. They have some of the coolest shit I've ever seen. I actually do have a video coming on Woolly Mammoth as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have tons of cool stuff coming for Vlogtober. Goth and fall and spooky centered. Lots of cool stuff planned. So watch out for all of that. Please let me know in the comments if you have any specific requests. And I'll see you guys a whole lot for October. So...